and there's stars on it. Where is that tree? There's Dumbo and the Dalmatian. Yeah. That's 100. I'm not saying it. I don't know. <laughs> there's the sleeping heads. There's Jason and there's Josh. You must be talking about those. Wake up, boys. Started it. Daddy say like Jason's fifth birthday. Jason's bicycle. Yep. In the shade. Can't see it very well. Grandma, Grandpa's asleep again. Will you wake him up? There we 
we go. That's our cottage. Yep. There's our old truck. There's Gary Brindle. Ronnie. There's our old truck right here. Mm -hmm. This is Christmas at our cottage. What year? 87. 1987. The day, the day before Josh broke his leg. <clears throat> No, this is a year before that, because Robbie's here. Robbie's the only boy we had home that Christmas. This Christmas, the day, that day, the lights went out at about noon or 2 o'clock, and we had to keep Robbie in our apartment because we had our gone. kerosene heater, and that was the only place in the cottage that was warm for a while. I told him how we heated up the kitchen. We put... We put pots full of water on top of the stove and let them boil, and the Burn steam all kept the, the kitchen. An oven, yeah. a gas oven heater. We didn't have any kerosene though. We were out. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. We thought we had to heat up. We put sheets up to block yeah. off certain areas. Go back to train. This is about the only part of this tape that worked. This is Ronnie and Kevin and Robbie and Mike and David Valine. Who else was in there? Who was that that was back in the back? Who's that? Ricky. David. Is that Ricky? No, that's David. David. Two Jason. Josh. Me. And David. David Ronnie. Ronnie Mike, Mike. Robbie. Kevin. Kevin and Robbie. Somebody. Oh, out of that wood part. There's the other little porch we're still working on. children's home. Of such is the kingdom of heaven.
In 1947, the Northside Church of Christ purchased 40 acres of land near Turley to start a home for children. In 1956, Mr. Lloyd Connell became superintendent, and by 1961, he and the directors had laid plans for two new contemporary-styled units to be added to the two older original buildings. But after a tragic fire in one of the older buildings, only the warm-hearted contributions of the people made it possible to add two more ranch-like units, now a grand total of five independent buildings, each equipped with its own recreation room, laundry, rules, and house parents. Here we see the interiors of the beautiful homes, so tastefully decorated and practical. Through your hands, this was made possible. Turley Children's Home operates at a total capacity most of the time. Because of the growing need of this home, it's planned to expand to 10 or 11 units and also at an all-purpose building. Since the home is not in any way state-supported, in your hands lie the hopes of these ambitious children. Also in your hands lie the strength to labor. A little work for the children of the Turley's home in fact, the home is partially maintained by the children. Each child has his own duties, just like in your everyday homes. Here you see the early morning functions to start the day. The house is put in order, beds are made, floors are swept, dishes washed, the selection of a wardrobe for the day, and of course, teeth brushed and faces washed. After finishing the inside duties, it's outside into the sun for lots of vitamin D. Wholesome, invigorating exercise is found, as well as a wonderful communication with nature and its maker. The girls find keeping pretty flowers to their fancy. It's so rewarding when one gives to nature. The older fellows take heavier jobs and garden till their hearts content. The home has a large summer garden, plus milking seven cows. There's even a shanty town where some of the boys like to keep rabbits and other small animals. The town was built by the boys themselves. You see... But there's never a dull moment at the Turley Children's Home. Many hands take their place around the handle of a bat and work together to make many hours of enjoyment for these little fellows. You know, there's a lot of baseball field in 40 acres. And the girls, on the other hand, prefer a more ladylike recreation. Here, you see facilities available in each new unit for creating the latest Paris style or maybe just a recreation from an older style. At any rate, these girls know how to sew a straight seam. And don't forget, Mademoiselle will also have to have the appropriate chapeau to accompany those homespun creations. Yes, it gets a little warm for a while, but it's worth it for the outcome because we're going skating tonight at the roller rink. Many activities, such as skating, are planned for the residents of the Turley Children's Home. Maybe it's an occasional movie or off to a picnic or to a museum. Wherever it is, it's aboard this beautiful new bus. Only possible through your generosity. 
2,900 books of trading stamps donated by people willing to lend a needed hand are now the means of transportation for the grateful children. Yes, it's always a happy birthday for every child at the Turley Children's Home. Not only is that cake baked by the house mother a big thrill, but also the many nice presents. There are many wonderful moments to remember in every mind of each child, and only possible through loving hands like yours. Each occasion such as this is etched in every mind of each child, a home their home, a place to be loved and to love. As a child, can you forget the anxiety of waiting for Christmas? Would it ever come? Well, it comes from your kind hearts and hands to these children, turkey, presents, and a tree decorated by the children. When you remember these children, you make it Christmas the whole year long with your helping hand, the long arm that lasts into the future. Now it's time for a little longer trip to the Burnt Cabin campsite for two weeks summer fun every summer. The biggest fish stories and the darkest tans become only the small reminder of the fun and enjoyment of going camping every year. The children look forward every year to this wonderful recreation. Give us our daily bread. You know, 80 hungry children are a lot of hungry children. And through your hands, true hunger is never known by the residents of the Turley home. There is a great deal of food called for every day, and each house unit holds enough staple food for a week from this large storeroom. A running inventory is kept of its contents, and every two or three weeks, a truck is set around on a prescribed route of churches to pick up goods. Your question would naturally be, how do the churches know what the home needs? A report is set out a month ahead of the truck, stating exactly what items are needed most. Such things as canned meats, tuna, and cake mixes are often more scarce and therefore are needed most. Again, the helping hand makes all this possible. Good, healthy, well-planned meals are prepared in modern, well-equipped kitchens. Counter ranges, built-in ovens, oversized refrigerators, deep freezes, a pantry and plenty of working space make the kitchens of each unit a stepping stone to well-rounded living. The children are full of joy and hope for their future when they feel the security of your hand on their shoulder, providing them the basic needs of life. Now I lay me down to sleep. Comfort and rest are certainly an essential part of each child's day at the Turley Children's Home. Your tender hands have provided these lovely dormitory bedrooms, each equipped with its own bath. Even though the room is shared by four children, each child has his own study desk, closet, and clothing drawers. The tiny tots in their unit find dormitory living much to their liking. What great fun to be able to sleep in bunk beds the only trouble, who gets to sleep in the top bunk? While you cradle these sleepy children in your hands, by your generosity, sweet dreams are passing through their heads. Dreams of who will win the World Series, or whether the zinnias will drown in all that rain, of their security, and future. Aside from eating and sleeping, working and playing, the children at the Turley home find time each day to be an individual, to think and meditate and dream, just to be themselves. 
thinking about nature and life, forming opinions and philosophies that they will live by for the rest of their lives. Wherever they are and whatever they do, they know that in a time of need, there will always be a helping hand, your hand. This thinking time also provides them with a time to realize that someday it will be up to them to be the helping hand to pass on to others when they reach the adult world the security of knowing that the great law of Christ is do unto others as you would have them do unto you. If you are able to instill in others this feeling of security, generosity, and fair play, could you ask for more reward? But there is another reward. Only one knows what it is. You will know only after this life has ended. Most of the problems encountered in everyday living by the children of the Turley home are discussed and worked out satisfactorily between the children and their house parents. The trying years, the teen years, can be the making or breaking of an individual without a close parental relationship. The home realizes this. And for problems of a more serious nature, the home provides a full-time social worker. Problems that seem to have no answer find a solution in the person dedicated to them. In her hand lies the map to the path they will take. It must be the right path. With your helping hand, you too are a social worker. You are providing the means for them to find the right map and hence the right path. This social worker system is only a part of what the directors of the Turley Children's Home hope will be licensed adoption rights. Again, only through you will this come true. Only through you will the Christian path light its way in the world of darkness in which these children find themselves. Help them find the heavenly light at the Turley Children's Home through your generosity. And pray each day. Sunday and Wednesday, the Turley Children's Home get on the bus to be taken to church at the Northside Church of Christ. The fulfillment on the faces of these children makes you know that your guiding hand has made its mark. If it were not for the gentle guidance of your hands, would this child be living in dirt and squalor or this one on his way to trouble, real trouble. Now through prayer and a greater understanding of the great guiding hand above, these children will be responsive citizens. Someday standing tall and straight next to you in church, making thanks for your gracious help. Could this child feel thanks for anything in this world if since she was young, the world had felt nothing for her? The Turley Children's Home provides this haven for her, someone to care when fever mounts. If no one cares, why bother to live? Why bother to take the effort to be a good citizen, to make a high place in this world? It's so much easier to be full of self-pity, to take the down path instead of pulling ahead up the big hill of life. A child feels need for discipline and molding. They receive this at the home. The Turley Children's Home is the right path. The Turley Children's Home is you. You determine the way they live. You make them Christian soldiers and send them onward by your prayers and dollars. The need is there every day. Answer the call, won't you?